when you go, they can't put you on the same ones because the virus that you may have may be resistant to that. That's evolution. I brought a couple of books with me tonight. I just grabbed this one off my shelf. Um, it's called Understanding Human Evolution, fourth edition by Frank Porter and Jeffrey McKee. And I bought a copy of the Bible. This is a 1901, this was printed. Let's see if I can tell you which version it is real quick. The Holy Bible contained the Old and New Testaments translated out of the original tongues, being the version set forth A.D. 1611, compiled with the most ancient authorities and revised A.D. 1881 to 1885. It's the 1901 Standard Edition. There's a, there's a difference between these two books. This is a science book, and this is a religious book. You're not going to find any science in here. Uh, you're probably not going to find a lot of religion in here. Okay? There's a difference. This is a science book. It was meant to be revised. Because science is constantly changing. We're constantly finding new things. Dr. Hovind keeps pointing out all the things that Charles Darwin said. Most evolutionists would say, well, Charles Darwin had, had a lot of, he set forth a lot of our basic understanding of evolution, but we don't, we don't simply hold up Darwin and say, he was right. It's all natural selection. It's everything he said is correct. We've revised his theory. This is the fourth edition of this book. Every two or three years, we revise what's in the book because we learn new things. We're constantly learning new things. We know more now than we knew 140 years ago when Darwin wrote The Origin of the Species. He didn't know about Gregor Mendel's work with the pea plants from the 19th century. That wasn't rediscovered until the early 1900s. He didn't understand DNA. If he had, he probably would have written a little bit different version of his theory, the same way we're doing today. We revise the science books. We're not trying to deceive anybody. If you pick up a book from the 1960s, there will undoubtedly be errors in it because we've learned new things. A hundred years ago, we didn't understand that bacteria could cause diseases. 150 years ago. Now we do. Should we not put that in the science book? Should we not revise the theory? We have to. This book was not designed to be revised. Right? We can't use this uh, simply to explain all of nature. God gave us a curious nature, and then he said, all the answers you need are here. Why do we have a curious nature? Why do humans seek to understand where we come from. I like, uh, I know a lot of you are anti-Catholics. I got that from the heckling I got earlier. But I thought I would read part of the papal bull put out by Paul II. It has nothing to do with Catholicism. He simply said that uh, the Bible does not attempt to teach us how heaven was made. It's simply there to tell us how to get there. Other books need to address how the heavens were made how we came to be, where we came from. Evolutionary theory is a scientific theory. It's not a belief system. I don't care if you believe in it or not. It doesn't alter the, 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 the basic concepts as we understand them. Microevolution is there. We understand microevolution to be accumulated into macroevolutionary changes, which causes one species not to be able to breed with another species. Dr. Hovind's already admitted that that is true. He said there certainly are creatures like that. There have to be. If that's true, then you have to accept evolution. Now, whether or not you choose to accept uh, uh, the Bible as well, that's your business. I have to stop now. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time, and I appreciate you inviting me. First of all, um, I say thank you, both of you guys, for coming. Give both of them a round of applause, would you? The, uh, the primary reason for Heritage Baptist Temple holding this debate is not to get you just to believe in creation, but it's that you'll be saved. And you know what? If you're not saved, not only will you not make heaven, but you're missing a great life that God has for you. Our desire is not that we're putting our thumb on you and making you feel ignorant and making you feel strange, but our desire is, hey, we know what it means to be saved and what a blessing it is. So why don't you just look to the truth? You know, the Bible says in Isaiah 45, 22, look unto me and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. 
Listen, God loves you. In Jeremiah 31, he says he draws you with an everlasting love. Why don't Do you want to know more about how to combat the godless theory of evolution? Creation Science Evangelism offers four great tools that help strengthen the faith of believers and win the lost to Christ. After 15 years of teaching high school science, Dr. Hoven began Creation Science Evangelism in 1989. We are a ministry that is dedicated to providing tools which will help you combat the evolution philosophy that is destroying the faith of millions every year. The first tool Creation Science offers is their powerful, life-changing video series. Over the last 12 years, well over a million videotapes of Dr. Hovind's seminar have circled the globe. They are reaping a harvest of souls for the kingdom of Christ, as well as helping restore the faith of many thousands confused by the evolution propaganda to which they've been subjected. These videos are available in English, Russian, French, Spanish, Japanese, and sign language. The Age of the Earth, first of the seven-part series, teaches that God created the universe about 6,000 years ago in six literal days. Could this be true? Can it be scientifically proven that the Earth is not billions of years old? This tape gives solid scientific evidence that the Earth is young and that the Bible is scientifically accurate. How did the environment of the original creation differ from ours today? And how would this allow men to live over 900 years? Can Christians have a good explanation for the existence of dinosaurs? Could some dinosaurs still be alive today? These and many more questions are covered in the second and third part of the series. Evolution has permeated public school textbooks with false and fraudulent information. This video exposes nearly 30 lies commonly found in textbooks. Every public school student, teacher, and school board member needs to watch part four of this series. Find out if you have been lied to in your textbooks. Discover the terrible difference evolutionary beliefs have made in the past as well as in recent history in our video number five. Dictators throughout time have used their evolution-based philosophies to rationalize their brutal actions. Learn how evolution propaganda is being used today to prepare people for the new world order. This is just a taste of all the information the 17-hour seminar series has to offer. Also available are college courses that expand on the seminars in great detail. For those who can handle a more confrontational atmosphere, our debate series is just for you. I said, now, Mr. Patterson, if you think the tailbone is a vestigial, I, Kent Hovind, will pay to have yours removed. Dr. Hovind has debated a wide range of atheists and evolutionists all over the country. And you're sure to find these 12 debates very exciting. These would be perfect to present to that scientifically minded person who likes to argue their point. Our topical series includes exciting topics like why evolution is stupid, public school presentation, children's video about dinosaurs, the Bible and health, Leviathan, the fire-breathing dragon, and many more. Creation Science also offers a variety of visuals, like the longevity chart, which presents the entire lineage of Adam to Joseph as given in Genesis. It's exciting to see exactly how many generations were alive at the same time. Hundreds of books on a variety of subjects, videos on incredible creatures that defy evolution, t-shirts, fossils, and more. Make Creation Science Evangelism the one-stop shopping center for your creation material needs. Our two websites, www.drdino.com and www.dinosauradventureland.com, provide our second tool for evangelism. Drdino.com is